Hey everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to Kingdom Kids. Here at Kingdom Kids we have three rules and they go like this. Can everybody stand up and pat your legs and say rule number one. Why? Rule number one is to listen to your teachers. So reach up high Grab your listening ears and click them on. Can you hear me? Oh, good job. That means they're working. Okay, now pat your legs for rule number two. Yeah. Rule number two is to believe that God loves you this, this much. Wow, that's a lot. All right. And time for rule number three. Three. Rule number three is to do, do your, your best. best. Yes, no matter what we do today, you have to do your best. Do you want to play a fun game? Oh yeah, me too. Can you help me clap to get there? Okay, one, two, three. We're going to play a game where we have to be different shapes, okay? So here they are. The first one is pencil. And then there's star. And then popsicle. And then there's spoon. And the last one is balloon. So let's go through them one more time. Pencil. Star, popsicle, spoon, balloon. When I call them out, you follow me and do them with me. All right, ready, set, go. Pencil, star, pencil, popsicle, spoon, balloon. Star, pencil, spoon, star, pop trickle, balloon. Hey, you did pretty good. But, um, I wonder if we could go even faster. You think so? Yeah, me too. All right, ready, set, go. Pencil, star, pencil. I really love how hard you were working. All right, do you think we could go even faster? Yeah, me too. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. Pencil, star, pencil.
Great job singing, you guys. Now, what I really need is my Bible for today's lesson. There we go. What do ducks eat with their soup? <laughs> Quackers. <laughs> my dad jokes book. <sighs> what I really need is my Bible. Ah, there we go. That's what we really need. Today, we are gonna be in Acts chapter three. One afternoon at three o'clock, two of Jesus' followers, Peter and John, went to the temple to pray. They saw a man sitting by the temple gate called Beautiful. Every day, the man's friends carried him to the temple because the man could not walk. As people entered the temple, the man asked them for money since he couldn't work. When the man saw Peter and John, he asked them for money. Peter and John said to the man, look at us. The man looked at Peter and John, expecting them to give him something. Peter said, I don't have any silver or any gold for you, but I will give you what I do have. Then Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Peter reached out and helped the man up. All of a sudden, the man's feet and ankles were strong. He could walk. In fact, the man jumped and leaped around. He went into the temple with Peter and John and he praised God. The people in the temple saw that the man was healed and they were filled with awe and astonishment at what had happened to him. And now it's time for our Kingdom Kids recap video. One afternoon at three o'clock, two of Jesus' followers, Peter and John, went to the temple to pray. They saw a man sitting by the temple gate called Beautiful. Every day, the man's friends carried him to the temple because the man could not walk. As people entered the temple, the man asked them for money since he couldn't work. When the man saw Peter and John, he asked them for money. Peter and John said to the man, look at us. The man looked at Peter and John, expecting them to give him something. Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I will give you what I do have. Then Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Peter reached out and helped the man up. All of a sudden, the man's feet and ankles were strong. He could walk. In <laughs> fact, the man jumped and leaped around. He went into the temple with Peter and John and he praised God. The people in the temple saw that the man was healed and they were filled with awe and astonishment at what had happened to him. Isn't it amazing that after Jesus returned to heaven, the Holy Spirit gave the disciples power to begin working? With the power of Jesus' name, Peter healed a man who was lame. Peter and John showed God's power and pointed to a greater spiritual healing found in Jesus. Now, I have two questions for you to answer. And teachers, when someone raises their hand, if you wouldn't mind calling on them, please. Thanks. Question number one, if Peter and John had just given the man money, would all of his needs have been met? Teachers, can you call on someone? Yeah? Uh-huh, okay. No, if the man had just been given money, he would have missed out on something much better his healing and forgiveness of sin. Peter followed the Spirit's leading, and the power of the Holy Spirit was displayed for all to see. This miracle caused, caused many to hear and respond to the gospel. All right, question number two. How can people see the power of God in our lives? Teachers, can you call on someone? Okay, that's good. Great, yeah. The power of God may come through a healing, like we saw today with the man, but it can also be shown in the everyday way we live our lives. The Holy Spirit gives us power to turn away from sin and to obey God. Also, living differently than the world is a way others can see God's power at work within us. Well, thanks for joining me here at Kingdom Kids. And remember that God loves us so much that we just have to show his love to others. I'll see you next week.